प्लीज लुक इन टू दिस आई थिंक बट यू कैन नॉट डू द सेम विद क्रिप्टो करेंसी सो इट इज बेसिकली एन ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन बाय और इवन सेल क्रिप्टो करेंसी एंड इट इज एज सिंपल एज बाइंग समथिंग एट एमेजोन और फ्लिपकार्ट इट इज नॉट अ लीगल टेंडर इट इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल एवरीवेयर एंड यू कैन नॉट फोर्स एनी वन टू यूज दैट Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Coding Ninjas. In this video we are going to discuss a very interesting topic that is crypto trade in India. So basically in this video we are going to see what are the various cryptocurrencies that you can trade or own in India. Is there a specific legislature around it? And then we'll see what are the various exchanges or various uh, apps or sites that you can use. to buy or sell crypto then is crypto considered a legal tender in india what are its challenges what are its shortcomings and finally some tax that might may or may not apply on crypto and finally i'll give you some so without further ado my name is ankush let's begin with this video so according to a recent survey it states that about 100 million people in india own or trade cryptocurrencies now what are cryptocurrencies cryptocurrencies are basically like virtual currencies for example ethereum bitcoin and you have also seen various altcoins like dogecoin uh, which become a meme sort of coin but these are essentially what are cryptocurrencies right they have some underlying network value right but you can also buy and sell them right like you can either buy or sell them or you can mine them using gpu right that's uh, how you can own cryptocurrency basically right so at this moment if i talk about trading right at this moment there is no fixed legislature in india regarding cryptocurrency so what does it mean and why should uh, it concern you right so let's talk about money in general right so uh, like we have rupees right so and rupees are basically stored in a bank right so if you have a, any grievance with your bank you can simply like go to the rbi and say that hey i am not happy with my bank they are not uh, fulfilling my needs so please look into this that i think there is some shady going on there but you cannot do the same with crypto currency so like it let's say if you get duped by some uh, organization in a crypto scam or something like that you cannot up simply approach the rbi or the system to get you your money back or whatever assets that you lost right so there is no uh, like uh, legislature that rbi supports around crypto currencies so building up on the previous point uh, the second point that i come to is that cryptocurrency is currently not a legal tender in india so what does that mean so let's say you go to a restaurant or a cafe and you order something to eat right and to pay for your order you will use either cash or some online mode of payment but essentially but you will be transferring between you and the shopkeeper would be indian rupees right so that's what a legal tender is that indian rupees is acceptable everywhere that you can use it as a mode of payment anywhere and everyone will have to accept that right but uh, it is not in the case of uh, cryptocurrencies it is not a legal tender it is not acceptable everywhere and you cannot force anyone to use that uh, just because you have it, right so let's say you go to a restaurant so you cannot force the owner to accept the payment in uh, cryptocurrency be it bitcoin be it ethereum be it some old alt and like dogecoin so you cannot do that because it is not been made a legal tender by the rbi because they have the power and like if you like closely look at the uh, any note uh, any currency note that you have it, it has a very beautiful statement which is that i promise to pay the bearer the sum of the amount basically the amount that is on the note and it is signed by the governor of india which means that this note has a value of be 10 rupees 20 rupees or 100 rupees uh, whatever the amount is on the note and that is made official by the governor of the india so that is why it is a legal tender and it is acceptable anywhere across india but it is not the same for crypto you cannot force anyone to take cryptocurrency as a means of payment so that's why cryptocurrency is not a legal tender in india so now that we have understood what a cryptocurrency basically is and where you can use it if you still want to go ahead and trade or own cryptocurrency you can simply do it by signing up to any cryptocurrency exchange so what are cryptocurrency exchange it is basically an online platform uh, where you can buy or even sell cryptocurrency and it is as simple as buying something at amazon or flipkart right so there are various cryptocurrency exchanges we do not sponsor any uh, in this video right this is 
got a sponsored video by any platform uh, there are some major platforms uh, some indian platforms include like coin switch kubeer wazirx and you can also look at some international options that is coinbase which is currently active in india as well right so you can look at any of these coin exchanges to buy various cryptocurrencies like uh, ethereum bitcoin it is as simple as buying something online at amazon flipkart you just need to set up your account mention your details and mention your billing details as well right and you can start trading the cryptocurrencies all right so now that we have understood where we can buy and sell our cryptocurrencies uh, let's understand about the tax right so as you know that anything that you buy or sell if you gain something you have to pay a tax on it so during our union budget of 2022 our finance minister nirmala sitaraman in imposed a tax of 30% on all gains so basically let's say you bought a cryptocurrency right at rupees 100 and it went to 200 rupees so you had a profit of 100 rupees right so on that 100 rupees you will have to pay a 30% tax basically 30 rupees as a tax to the government on your capital gains right so some people consider it to be very steep other uh, people consider it to be a beacon of hope that government is adopting and may bring out some regulations or even make it a legal tender but that's what the tax situation of cryptocurrency is currently in india which is 30% uh, now that we have understood what cryptocurrency is and is it right and what are various coins like bitcoin ethereum and there are plenty of old coins which are somewhat shady and you should not be involved in that you should look at the underlying technology and the smart contract that the token actually gives if you want to trade or be successful at trading a uh, cryptocurrency right so but you can trade various cryptocurrencies on various crypto exchanges that i mentioned before like coinbase coins which to bear and plenty other we do not uh, prefer one of the others this is not a sponsored video right but what these coin exchanges have done is they have made the barrier to trade cryptocurrency is really low it is like as simple and very intuitive basically user friendly experience so you can just start by registering yourself on these platforms and start trading the same day however like all investments cryptocurrency trading is also subject to market risk so you should only invest that much amount that you can afford to lose since it is still a little bit risky i would say because it is not completely adopted by the government and the rbi right but you can use various exchanges that i mentioned before to trade cryptocurrency right so that was about how to trade or is uh, crypto trade legal in india so yes crypto trade is legal in india and you can use various platforms which have made it simple and user friendly to trade cryptocurrency so i hope you like this video do like the video and share it with your friends to tell us and do comment to tell us something more about this video and do subscribe to the youtube channel of golden ninja so i'll see you in the next one bye